Hi, and thanks for watching this training video on Digicel Flipbook. Today we're going to talk about painting. The most common tool in paint programs is the fill tool. You just click and fill. But Flipbook's fill tool is not common at all. It works like a paintbrush as well as a bucket. So you can just click and drag in order to fill all the areas that you drag the cursor into. Right? This saves you a lot of time when you're painting things in uh, things that are adjacent that have the same color. Now a lot of people when they're painting cartoon frames will paint one frame all the way through. So they'll pick all the different colors that they need and then fill in all the areas that use those colors. All right, and that's great. It's a good way to paint, but you're more likely to make mistakes doing that because you might paint one thing with the wrong color or you might miss something entirely. So let's undo to get back to where we want to be. And what we recommend is that you paint one color all the way through. Right? Or even you paint one thing all the way through. So if I just go to my next frame and I keep painting Jupiter all the way through, right, you see how quickly Flipbook goes to the next frame. So you're not wasting any time waiting for frames and you're not wasting any time changing tools or picking colors. But as long as you're going to be painting frame after frame, Flipbook has a way to speed that up for you too. If you just hold the shift key down, when you click to fill, Flipbook will automatically jump to the next frame. So there's no time wasted between filling and changing frames. All right? This saves you a lot of time and makes it go much faster. Now the next thing I want to show you, let's start this scene over, okay, with nothing painted. As long as we've got the cursor staying in one spot and we're filling with the same color, Flipbook can speed that up a whole lot. If I put the cursor here and I press a 5 key, Flipbook will paint that color into that spot for 5 frames or 2 frames. Or if I press a 0, it'll paint all the way to the end of the scene. Okay, let's go back up to the top. We'll do that again on Jupiter's head. Press the zero key and it'll fill that color into his head throughout the entire level. Now that will really save you a lot of time painting. So that makes your painting really fast and easy. But when you've got something like Jupiter here that's got lots of areas of the same color, Flipbook has a way to do that even faster. So let's go back. We'll revert to the last version of this scene that we saved. We'll pick the color that we want. We'll select the entire level. Then we'll go over here to our Actions menu and select Auto Fill. Now with Auto Fill, what's going to happen is Flipbook is going to flood the entire frame, every frame, with paint. And then it's going to erase back from the edges so that only the areas inside the lines remain filled. Now since your character could be off to the edge of the frame or in a corner, we let you pick which corner to erase from. So if you select the upper left hand corner and say do it, Flipbook will paint inside the lines every frame for the entire level. Now we see that there's an area here that got painted because it is surrounded by lines, but we don't want it to be painted. So we can just right click while the fill tool is selected, go on to the next frame and erase a couple areas. We could also switch to the eraser. But it's a lot easier to erase a couple of areas on a few frames than it is to fill half a dozen areas in every frame. So this will save you a lot of time in painting your animation. Alright, so there are lots of ways to 
fill your animation and to make it happen really fast in Digicel Flipbook. It makes it fast, it makes it easy, and it does a great job. Thanks for watching this training video and check back for more coming soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.